Hi, I'm Eileen Roach, and boy, am I excited about today's broadcast. We're going to talk all about holiday gift ideas, but I'm not going to do it by myself. I have a fantastic guest, and if you have never met her before, you're really going to enjoy today's program. We're going to welcome in Patricia Gates from Pearly, Purely Gates Embroidery. She's a fellow Texan, and she has been making beautiful embroidery for, well, I guess a couple decades now. So let's welcome in Patricia Gates. Hi, Patricia. Hey, everybody. Hi. It's so great to have you here today. I, we're, we've been looking forward to this, Eileen. <clears throat> the last time we did this, it was um, it was a whole lot of fun. And, and, you know, we talked about doing this. So here we are. We're, we're I know. Excited. Here we are. I, it's we're hard to believe the holidays <laughs> are coming. And, you know, that's what we're going to be talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I it's know. tomorrow. Well, you know, as people are joining us, we love it when they, uh, you know, type in, tell us where you're watching from. We see we have Linda in sunny Arizona and Judith Whitlock up in Man Montana, Cecilia Wilson in Jordan, uh, Utah, you know, some fellow wow. Texans and my good friend Dory Hobson in Naples, Florida, which is always a beautiful place. So I, you, um, how many years have you been in business, Patricia? Um, we're in our 16th year. 16th year. So yeah, yeah, definitely well into your second decade. I thought yeah. for sure you were coming up on 20 fairly soon, right? Just, so just like age, it just happens. It just happens, <laughs> you know, but I'll bet there's some folks that are watching today that might not be familiar with Purely Gates. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to step out of your way just a little bit and let you introduce everyone to Purely Gates. All right. Like Eileen said, Purely Gates Embroidery. Um, if you have heard of us, um, we are known for Mylar Embroidery Designs. And what Mylar Embroidery Designs do is it gives you the look of metallic thread just by using regular machine embroidery thread. So the sparkle that you see in our designs is just an accent to the design. It's not, not meant to be a, a scream of shine, but it gives the designs a depth and dimension. Um, but it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. We have over 170 different collections um, and the, uh, the colors that come out in your thread using the Mylar is just, it's, it's really amazing. We have a lot of people that ask, you know, I want the special thread. And I'm like, you already own that thread. It's the designs that you need. So that's how that, um, how the, the Mylar shows through the designs. Now, when you go to our website, that is, we don't have a brick and mortar, but we do have a website and it will um, give you a lot of videos and information if you don't remember what I'm telling you here, but um, it will tell you all about the Mylar and you can see that's a piece of the Mylar there. That is the only color that you need with a Mylar embroidery design because it reflects the color thread that is stitched over it. So you don't ever have to ever worry about uh, running out of a different a particular color thread when you're using this, uh, excuse me, a particular color of Mylar when you're using this because it will pick up the color of thread that you're using. So when you go to our website and you're going to see um, our hints and tips, our videos, our projects, our project samples, we have our collections on there. You can get on CD or as digital download, and then all of our patterns are digital download. We also have a fun section on our website uh, called customer project samples. Um, I, I absolutely love seeing what people have done with the designs. It gives inspiration to other people as well. Um, they may have uh, created the collection or stitched the collection out in colors I never would have thought, at, thought of, and they've come out really beautiful. And it also gives you layout ideas as well. So if you're always, uh, ever, you know, uh, thinking, what am I going to do with this type of design? You can see what other people have done with it, as well as the samples that we provide uh, pictures of on our website as well. So um, we do travel a lot and we are back on the road. Um, we saw a lot of people in Houston uh, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. And because uh, time is flying, it seems like it was yesterday. Um, but we pack it all up in the van. We've got Bunny with us, which is our puppy dog. And a lot of people 
come just to see Bunny, uh, but she's she's here with us waiting to go on our next trip. We'll start up again in January. But yeah, if you're ever uh, in an area, you can check our website, see where we're going to be and come come by and say hi. We And, and we do have a lot of people that show up and, and show us what they've done with our designs. They're wearing them or on a bag, that kind of thing. So it's, it's a lot of fun. We really love the interaction with people, which is why thank you, Eileen, for letting us do this again, because that's just something that we've really uh, been craving is the interaction. Well, you know, we all crave the interaction for sure, but boy, <laughs> we sure have a lot of people, you know, fill, typing in, telling us where they are. And Shauna Likens, she wants to know what's the web address. Well, it's purelygates.com. But, you know, she's going to be showing you a beautiful trunk show today with great inspiration on holiday gift giving. And there'll be a special offer from Purely Gates at the end of today's broadcast. So, Shauna, before you jump over there, you might want to wait and see what's in store. Here's Melody Hermes. She says, love your designs. And she usually sees you at Road to California. Are you going there again this year? We will be there. We will be there. That's uh, uh, mid-January, I believe. Yes. Yes. That's awesome. So we're looking okay. forward to that. Please save us some good weather. Um, I don't want to wear a coat, but I don't want to sweat either. So save us some good weather. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh, Georgia. Beautiful. We're going to be in Georgia next year, too. Oh, how fun. Yeah, there's there's a lot of places. We, we're back on the road. So, yeah, we're excited. Yeah. We're excited. Oh, so. oh and uh, Pulilana, oh, I always butcher the name like that, says, uh, come to Hawaii, please. So shall we go, Patricia? You yep. and I? Why don't we go yeah, down? Uh, I'm already packed. Let's go. We have someone from Kauai. Is that the uh, Anne? Anne. Uh, Anne. Maxiner is uh, watching from Kauai. I've been there. My daughter was married on Kauai. It was absolutely beautiful. Can we stay beautiful. with you, Anne? Can we stay yeah, with can you? Can we Anne? stay with you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, you know, a tent would be all right in Kauai. Oh, uh, I, yeah, snorkeled, yeah. I snorkeled so much there. I had a blast for sure. Well, we might need an umbrella every 20 minutes, but we're good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so let's see. Barbell says that she loves your designs. They stitch out beautifully. And Thank here's you. Katie Templeton. Same thought. Love your design. She purchased your Jacobean tapestry. And any idea anyway. here where I can purchase the, fa the fabric used in the sample for the black option with these designs? Ooh. Well, um, like everyone else, I have a stash. I have a stash. So like a fine wine, it usually has to sit in my stash for a while <laughs> <laughs> till it matures and gets used. So Okay. Um, I might still have a salvage edge of it if you want to email me directly, um, but I'm not sure you'll be able to find it because it's, yeah. it's, 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 that's okay. It is, that's has okay. aged. <laughs> yeah. But listen to this nice comment, Patricia, from Barbara Jones. She says she was lucky enough to go to one of your classes a long time ago. And not only are you an expert digitizer, you're also a marvelous teacher. Well, thank Very you. Nice. Thank you. We enjoy that. Again, it's yeah. the interaction. The only thing. If I have to say I don't enjoy something, and it's not that I don't enjoy it, but when I'm teaching class, I go through withdrawal because I'm not sitting there on the machine too. It was mm. like, I want, you know, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I mean, everybody's doing what I love and it's like, I want to do it too. Right. I want to be a student. And you <laughs> I want to be a student. You, and when you teach embroidery, there's a lot of time during the class that the machines are just running. And oh yeah, I feel your pain. I want to be on that machine also. I know, I know, I know. I know. Yeah, and Annette Willis, she purchased your Western Christmas and has already started stitching the design. So a big handout, for, I mean, a round of applause for her. She's already started. That's impressive. i got to get one of those clappers. <laughs> yeah, they're super fun. Okay, and so they also want to know, are you going to come to the Atlanta Sewing and Quilting Expo? Yep. Yep. We are okay. there. We're going to be there. Um, That's awesome. Again, check the check our events section on our website. But yes, we we are already um, we are booked for that one as well. Yes. Patricia was just telling me her and her husband are definitely hitting the road in January. So good for you. OK, so shall we start with some of your holiday inspiration to the fun part? Yes. OK. Yes. All right. So we are doing holiday gift ideas. Um, you may have someone that you uh, has a special passion. You may have someone that um, maybe have have some event coming up in their life, or that you just might want uh, want to do some holiday decorating. So we're going to try to cover a lot of different, um, you know, 
themes or, or types. So the first one we're going to do is kitchen items. Okay, so I've tried to cull my samples down to groups so they sort of make sense. So kitchen items. So what we have, and I will let you know what collection you're seeing the design uh, that's stitched on there, what it's from, and I will let you know if there's a pattern available on our website. So we're starting right off with our Mylar Chefs 2 and our Mylar Chefs. And these wine bags, there is, <clears throat> excuse me, there is a pattern to make this. Oh, that's okay. awesome. So when they purchase the collection, they also get a pattern? The patterns are sold separately. Okay. They are digital downloads. Um, nice. I am very detailed and full color. Yeah. Um, so sure. a digital download works very well. If there is a pattern piece involved, it is a template to be printed out. So, awesome. um, yes. They're so adorable. They can, this is uh, one of the patterns that we do have. And when you go to the homepage, you'll see the word patterns. Just scroll down and um, uh, you, you'll click on the, the ones. You'll see the pictures, but you also see the title. So this is our wine bag. And again, those came out when I created the uh, Mylar Chefs and the Mylar Chefs 2. All right. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. And our newest collection actually is our Mylar Wine Knot. Okay. <laughs> so... Having already done the bags, I wanted to do something different. And this is our double bottle wine bag. So this is for the heavy drinkers. <laughs> We're talking gifts now, okay? okay. Don't drink it all. You got to give righty. something away, right? That's so right. this is fun. You've got a different oh, thing on both sides. Wow. The full pattern is available for this. This is cork. So you can see oh, how nice so the designs. Both sides are cork. Oh, lovely. Both sides are cork. Oh, look at that bottle. mylar. Yeah, give that a little wiggle again. Look at the glasses and the bottle and the words. Oh, I love it. It's just gorgeous. And this is, um, uh, you know, depending upon the width of your designs, you've got the, and it's got a separator to keep them all yeah. from clanking. Oh, nice. So that is the it's double wine bag. Yeah. And that's how, and why not? Right? Why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> why not? All right. Um, this is a uh, another one that we have a pattern for. This is our casserole carrier. You whip one of these out for that Thanksgiving meal that you don't have to cook, but you get to provide a meal for. So there that's kind go. of the best way is you only cook one thing and bring it. Mm -hmm. um, but this is our casserole carrier. I made this one. Uh, I had a casserole dish uh, that fits this size. And it is... Um, on the inside, you could put a vinyl fabric in there if you wanted to get something that's wipeable in case you've got a spill. Um, it is also a wonderful little pizza box. <laughs> oh, yes. Absolutely. And, in fact, that's not a bad idea. Can you adjust the size of the pattern? Um, it is It is written for what you're seeing right here. Yeah. So that is a good that's question. Awesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is nice and deep. And this is our Mylar Chefs 2, one of the designs included on that one. So that is the casserole carrier. They like the casserole cover. <laughs> Arnell Burroughs and also Rita Ranke, they really like that. I, you know, it's a lovely way to transport, you know, a uh, potluck dinner item to. And a you know, you could also you could leave it with them too as a gift. Oh, it could be a housewarming great. type yeah, of thing too. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, I have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's a question. Did you, oh, did you use um, heat material inside, like heat, heat like Insulbrite or a product no, like that? No, but you can. And I mentioned that in the pattern. Oh, if good. If you wanted Great. to include that as one of the inserts. And we hear, we hear Bunny talking. You hear Bunny? Yeah, That's right. It's live. It's all good. <laughs> it's live. <laughs> it's all good. Um, I've also taken the uh, designs from Chefs and Chefs 2 and I've made, uh, uh, these are in a pan. But these can be placemats. Yeah, that's fabulous. Oh, they're so pretty. And Wasn't there's so a lot of different sayings table. with these. So, so whatever applies to you, um, uh -huh. you can you can uh, use. Everybody can have a different saying. It might be funny to go around and read them. I don't know. But yeah. um, I have to up my table setting. It's just. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is it? The cobbler's children have no shoes. <laughs> Boy, right? guilty okay. as yeah. charged. <laughs> I do have some quilts on the beds, but, you know, whatever. 
not my problem. It's not your problem. Nobody. You cares. think I'd have this all over the house too, but it's yeah. It's, uh, well, that's yeah. the problem when you know when you sew. You and I both sew to show beautiful samples. So we don't want anybody to touch it, <laughs> use it, right? It has to be camera ready at all times, which is kind but, of. But uh, and I'm glad you mentioned that um, because. If you do use it and it does get dirty, we guarantee that when you're using the hour miler with our designs, whatever you embroider the design on can be washed, dried, and ironed unlimited. So if it's placemats, if it's aprons, um, wash, dry, and iron, you don't have to worry about it yeah. uh, being the fact that it's mylar. So you will you, oh. you won't have that problem. So these are now Look no at this that is, apron saying. I this love is not that. a kitchen item, but um, it is a great gift item if you know someone who um, either has normally walking around with dog hair on them. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great T-shirt. Yeah. Um, and then also, uh, this is more true than we know. An apron is just a cape on backwards. So Absolutely. superheroes out there. Um, but this is part of what shows you you do not have to make the item that you're going to embroider on. Go out and buy the item. And it's a, it's a quick, um, we were laughing the other day. It's one of those one and done, right? Uh, right. You get it, you embroider on it and you've got a gift. And that way you can, if you wanted to do more than one, it doesn't take quite as long because you're not making it. So yes, these are aprons. Right. So we do have a question from Joyce Hallmark. She said, you know, backing up just a moment, she loved the tray. Can you share where you purchased it? A lot of people ask that in the booth. Um, and I don't know if this is a na nationwide chain, but we, uh, I, I got it at Hobby Lobby. Okay. Yeah. Hobby great Lobby. store. They have all those kitchen ideas yeah. and it's hard to go in and not come yeah. out with something. Right? And then Anita wanted to know, is there a placement pattern? So maybe just kind of clarify with that collection. Um, uh, with the patterns that I am giving you um, uh, to make the project, the project patterns will talk about design placement and how to go about doing that. And I also, if you're, you know, no matter whose pattern you're doing, I do have a full video on hooping tips and design placement um, to show that shows you, you know, pretty much a generic thing that you can use on whatever project that you're doing. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right. This is, let's see, we've got um, just doing napkins. Oh, That's man. taking one of our designs. Uh -huh. And doing a tone on tone on a lot of the machines, you have that ability to press that button to make it monochromatic. That's sure. all that is. Uh -huh. I mean, you see the sparkle on that. So this collection normally is full of color. That's our Mylar fall leaves. Uh -huh. And it's just, um, um, uh, I think they call them restaurant napkins that I put uh -huh. them on. Uh -huh. so that's a lot of fun and easy and quick. Napkins you know, are a great gift to give. You know, yes, and, and with a casserole carrier, you can throw a napkin in there with it. Yep. You know, or just just <clears throat> if you don't feel like you're giving them enough. Um, right. Again, from our wine collection, these are hand towels. Oh, oh, again, look at the sparkle in purchase the purchase the, the the towels and mm -hmm. and stitch them out. Beautiful, great friends wine together. Yes, cute. Uh, another item I got at Hobby Lobby. These are placemats, and it already had the word "eat" on them. Okay. So you just fixed that up because it was pretty boring with just that word "eat," right? Yes. And the placement of that was just too convenient. Yeah. <laughs> so Myler chefs, chefs too. Right. So that that's adorable. So Diana Mullins Atkinson is asking, are all the kitchen designs from a single set? Now, I know your Chefs 1 and Chefs 2 are two collections. Correct. But how about some of the others that you're showing? Um, the the This is from our Mylar Wine Knot. I'll try to be more clear on those. I'm sorry. But okay. both of these are from the collection Mylar Wine Knot. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, the napkin was the fall leaves. Right. A lot of the kitchen is coming from the chefs and chefs too. Um, okay. How about the yeah. apron and and the placemat and the tray liner? The apron and uh, the apron is from our Mylar chefs, but you can take also any of the phrasing from my chefs too and put it on an apron. Okay. And both placemats are from chefs or chefs too. 
So Great. I've got uh, okay. examples of both of those. Um, this one is from Mylar Chefs. And this oh. is, oh, this is using our pure shape product. Yep. And this is, this is so easy. It's not even funny. So you're gonna, you're gonna stitch it on our pure shape product. When you go to our website on the homepage, you'll see that product. When you click on that, there's a whole video that shows you exactly how to use it. And it also mm -hmm. shows you how to use it if you're creating something where you want both sides to be beautiful. And I'm going to show you something like that later. But okay. so simple for a napkin ring. This is piping, uh, excuse me, boning, covered oh. boning. And you can get it in a white covering or a black covering. And I've uh, taken a length of it, uh -huh. made a circle out of it and yeah. hand sewed it to the back. Wow. Super simple. And then the pure shape allows you to get, take any of your designs and make them dimensional. So it's not freestanding yeah. lace, but it makes them dimensional. Okay. Oh, so that's, that's fun. That's, that's a fun. lot of fun. Mm -hmm. That'd be great for your Thanksgiving table. Absolutely. Uh, that Absolutely. being said too, I've done that same with our Mylar Mega 3D oh, Butterflies. Oh, look at these. This Girl's one is a kitchen out. towel. You could drape this over the handle of like your oven or whatever and slip the um, the ring over it. And that would be fun. This yeah. one, actually, the designs come in four sizes up to a 10 inch um, design wow. size. Or you can just wow. do a nice uh, little five by five. Yes. Beautiful. Now, how well, long yeah. does it take to stitch out that five by five? Because Mylar is deceiving, right? It looks like it might take 59 minutes, but... Not it, as it, bad as we think, right? It's no, it's not as bad as we think. Um, it really does depend on the design. Sure. Probably, I want to say, don't hold me to it. It's been yeah. a, we have 170 collections. <laughs> right. Um, it's not. It's not going to be an hour. I probably say maybe 35 minutes. Nice. That's not maybe. bad. It really does depend upon how much detail yeah. is in that particular design. Now, really um, while we're doing this, I want to show you something real quick, fun sure. with these butterflies. Let me grab that. She's kind of like Mary Poppins. You know, she keeps turning <laughs> away from the camera and pulling out all these wonderful things. The the the, the bottomless bag. With the butterflies, yeah. I've also, again, taken the pure shape and you can oh. see how it's beautiful on both sides. Yes. So yes. that's just a fun thing if you wanted to. Um, yeah. Now, that's a really good example of why you only need one color of mylar because the mylar is taking the color of the thread, right? I mean, it's yes. red and green and it's hard to believe that that's not red and green mylar. It's just the one color, that opalescence, right? Mm -hmm. the opalescent iridescent it's just beautiful so they these are love fun. them yeah they just love them yep and so patty you know i we're catching up with comments but yes it's just one color of mylar and that color it, of that the change in color that that you see is really due to thread and, and um patricia uses exquisite thread from dime which i'm so happy to hear that we both oh, yeah. love it I honestly wouldn't use anything else. Um, um, I told Eileen before, back in the day, we majorly tested it. Um, I, I stitched a super dense design with another dense design on it, with another dense design on it. Wow. Did not have any breakage. It was yeah, like, no okay, this, here we go. I uh, didn't want to have to have a thread that we had to apologize for. So I I absolutely love it. And, and, and it's a great um, array of colors and yes. shades and everything. There's not right. really anything Two, that you're 288 missing. 288 colors. Yeah. Hey, so Anita wants to know, she says she loves the pure shape. Is it one design per sheet or can you get more than one design? Similar to uh, the Good model. question. It, it's packaged as four 10-inch square sheets. So if you were doing that five-inch butterfly, mm -hmm. you're getting four per sheet. Mm -hmm. So a whole package you could do. Right. 16. Okay. So it really depends. If you were doing the 10-inch, then you're only getting four. Okay. Sure. So it is, it's okay. a package of four 10 inch sheets. Okay. So Dawn mm -hmm. wants to know to make a two sided design, do you have a front and back? So <clears throat> not quite sure what she means, but I think you mean, is there a front and back design? And They're I imagine you just, together. you just mirror not... image it. No, no, it's even easier than that. You're stitching the design once. Okay. okay. The instructions for this product show you, I've got my monofilament here. Oh, it will show you what you need to do to get it just as pretty on the front 
as it is on the back. This is one design, one stitch up. Oh. There's nothing glued together. Nice. Nothing glued together. So that makes it uh, quicker as well. So anytime yeah. that you are can see the back, um, that gives you the ability to make it pretty on both sides. Now, things like your napkin rings, you really don't need them to the backside to be pretty. <clears throat> so you'll, you, you can do that as well. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, the instructions on the video on the website show you how to do all of that. Okay. <clears throat> Um, and this, then this is I'm so just going to stop one more time because Anne asked, um, have you used metallic thread with the Mylar? Now, I know that uh, Patricia, she sticks to Mylar and exquisite polyester 40 weight dime thread. Um, as where I have mixed her designs with our King Star metallic and it's beautiful. It's extra bling, extra sheen. But, you know, they, they work beautifully together, but not necessary, not necessary, right? Because your Mylar adds the shimmer, the amount of shimmer that you want. That's your intention. Exactly, exactly. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I do use with my Mylar are crystals. Love my oh, crystals. Yeah. I have the crystals. So, um, and, and like Eileen was saying, and my theory is you can't have enough bling, right? <laughs> so if you do have... Uh, have some of that and you want to uh, try it out, then it, you, there's not going to be a problem. The beauty of the Mylar embroidery in our designs is you're not going to treat these designs any differently than you would with regular machine embroidery. You're not going to stabilize any differently. You're not going to care for it any differently. Machine wash, dry, that kind of thing. Again, as long as you're using our Mylar with our designs, whatever that design is stitched on can be laundered mm -hmm. a pajillion times. I mean, I, like I said, we've been doing this for 16 years and there's not anything that has lost its sparkle or has flaked out or anything. Let's see if we can get <laughs> the sparkle down. Yeah, flaked it's out. gorgeous. They really there we do. go. All right. So again, this is uh, Mylar Chefs. I've probably shown you enough of those. This yeah. is a fun collection we have. And again, go buy your hand towels. Just go buy them and you've got quick gifts. Uh, this is from oh. our... Oh. Mylar teacups. Now there are 12 stacked cup designs in this collection. One of them is fall. One of them is Christmas. And the others um, can either be your spring or your summer. So That's you can do a seasonal hand towel. That could be yeah. a gift set. Oh. Uh, and then you're doing just four, four. Now I stitched these two again yesterday. I have um, some of my stuff is buried in the van from our last, <laughs> so I stitched this out. Um, and each each one of these are less than an hour stitch out. Beautiful, okay, just gorgeous. Okay, so we do have a couple questions here. So Helen uh, is asking, are the threads in the background? I think she's talking about my threads available on our website. We don't have individual spools available. Do we have individual spools? Yeah. Um, well, you have to check our website, but we do have lots of thread kits available. And Arnell wants to know, can you buy single designs at Purely Gates? We only sell in collections. Mm -hmm. And we, we sell, sell in collections. collections. That makes yeah. sense. Um, um, and really, when you see the quantity of the designs in these collections, it's more value for the money, honestly. Okay. And then Mary wants to know, uh, where do you buy your hand towels? She came on late. Well, she hadn't really shared, but. If um, right. Um, we could go to Hobby Lobby again. We could, um, they're easily found online. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of stores and a lot of online presence that sell blanks. Right. Um, that's where I, that's where I mostly get mine. My mm -hmm. problem is if I leave home, I've burned a day. Right. So if yeah. I can have it come to me. Yeah. <laughs> you want it to good. come to you. Yeah. I want it to come but to some, me. Yeah. Some good resources, definitely Hobby Lobby, like she said, TJ Maxx um, is also a good one. They often, it's, a lot of their towels are decorated, but those that aren't are usually very high quality and don't hesitate to look at a towel that's decorated in some way. And then, you know, think about how you can add to it to add personalize to it. it. Yeah. You know, if it has a Christmas wreath already embroidered on it, there's no reason why you can't put a monogram in it, around it, or something like that. Exactly. All About Blanks is online. www.allaboutblanks is a very good resource. A good friend of ours, Susan Mars, uh, owns that company. And so I'm, I always depend on her to get... You know, if I'm like searching for something, I know I can go there and find it. For They've sure. got a good variety yeah. uh, across the board of things that you can embroider right. on. 
And here's Joyce Kirkpatrick. She says, if you all have Tuesday morning in your area, they also have great quality kitchen towels. Good point, Joyce. So if you have that, Judith Whitlock, she does, she says Walmart, not a bad choice, you know, at Walmart. They have uh, large color selections. So. And the nice yeah. thing sometimes about going to the store too is you are able to see that quality yes. um, before you buy. And, and yeah. it makes a difference um, with the embroidery right. as, to, as to the... Uh, stuff that you're putting it on yeah um, along uh, still along the lines of our our kitchen theme here is this is from our wine knot <laughs> this is a, um, a table runner or a for the wine bar for the, the wine bar for the wine bar there you go and this collection also comes with the quilting motifs that you see there's a vertical and a horizontal Beautiful quilting motif that goes with it, but yeah. this has a lot of nice phrases. You're getting it in two sizes. Um, these nice. are your five by sevens. You're getting them as big as eight by eight as well. Yeah. So that's fun. And again, um, a lot of people, uh, you do not have to follow the color change chart as far as colors that I use. The colors I used here are based upon the fabric that I've uh, oh, put in, sure. the, in the project. Sure. So. Buy the, buy the fabric for your project, then pull your colors, and then you can yeah. decide where the designs those go. Right. And just to clarify again, because Amy Spearman said, you know, she loves the Chinese dragons for her Mahjong group. And she's asking, are different colors of Mylar used, or is it just silver? So it's only one color of Mylar that's required. That color is brought to you by thread, right? Exactly. So... Mm -hmm. Yes, all the colors coming from the threads you are using, okay? Yep. Um, don't think of the mylar as a color. Think of it as sparkle. And that right. might be glitter. easier. It's just kind of glitter that you're throwing it, Yeah, on there. it's your sparkle yep. and your thread is your color. Yeah, except um, you're not going to have it all over the place like glitter. <laughs> it's not going to be messy. <laughs> well, well, depends on how much you're picking out. <laughs> I've told people that I've... I've Obviously, I'm doing mylar all the time. Yes, so I'm are. just kind of throwing it and everything. And yeah. um, I've taught yeah. Bunny to pick it up and bring it to me. Now, she's eaten it, you know, and we've had some quite colorful uh, results from that, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh -huh. um, but I've taught her to to bring it to me, and she gets a oh. T-R-E-A-T. -E I can't say it because she's sitting right here. Mm -hmm. um, but she'll she'll bring me all those little pieces. But cool. um, that that's a lead in too. When you're using our mylar, and you put it over the design, anything that you tear away, you do want to save because you'll be able to use on another design. And mm -hmm. some designs use a little bit, and then some use a lot more. Mm -hmm. uh, this one used a lot more. Wow. And that's wow. just a table topper and it's our fruit punch. Yeah. Gorgeous. So and that's it, a great example to answer this question from uh, Miss Wagner, I'm going to call her. <laughs> I'm butchering her first name. So is the stitching different when you do mylar? So I, Patricia most certainly will answer, but I'm going to tell you this. It most certainly is. And it takes a expert digitizer to get that proper look. And I can tell you that Patricia is an expert digitizer and her method is flawless and easy to, to use. Everyone has success with her design. So that's very kind of you to say. Yeah, um, it's true though. It uh, really is. A lot of the um, customers that come in the um, booth, all they want to do is buy the Mylar. Mm -hmm. And we always, do you have a mylar embroidery design? And they're like, well, no, I'm just going to, I've got, I've got 9 million designs. I'm going to go yeah. home and do it. And I said, well, right. you can, but you're going to be sorely disappointed because it won't sparkle through. Um, and I try to equate it is if you purchase an applique design, you can't suddenly make that regular embroidery in that hole where the applique goes. That's the same. These designs are specifically created just for mylar. So um, you'll notice just certain areas of each design, again, because it's meant to be an accent, mm -hmm. but um, they, they are created with a clean fill. That also leads into, um, we recommend you don't resize a mylar embroidery design mm -hmm. because I place the stitches, regular uh, machine embroidery runs across the design as it's filling in the, in the area. That's what your software is going to do, is it's going to fill in the area. So when you resize it and it fills in that area, you're going to get all those weird runs. And you're not going to see any of those uh, from the designs as you get them from us on the collection. That's a nice, clean fill because you are going to see through it. So that is a good question. Yeah. And um, that's that's why 
we've got the trademark on it and that's why that's what makes us a little different from everyone else is our designs have have that ability and thank you for the compliment eileen oh you really welcome. enjoy doing it i just you know well it's it's that's obvious, a fun sure. really fun part for me yeah now anita wants to know if you have smaller pieces of mylar can you overlap them like you know in a design i know what she's asking we're all the same <laughs> um believe me i've tried as that hoop moves because it is so light okay yeah as that hoop moves over when you put that piece it goes whoosh, it flies off save that save those pieces for another design save another piece those pieces for design where it will fully cover that area okay and use a use a one piece to put on i have tried i have tried i've tried i'm the person that likes to make use of everything scraps that kind of thing um you can try but i it never stays in the place it needs to as that hoop is moving and mm -hmm. then the foot's going across right. so drags it off yeah <laughs> yes know. and mm -hmm. i always have a um a fan going in my sewing room too so that's oh. never helpful it's yeah. helpful for me but not for the embroidery right right pants and sewing don't really go along <laughs> Really don't. But they have to at a certain age. I know. Okay. Oh, I understand. <laughs> so, uh, Nancy Johnson is struggling to find the wine designs on your website. So um, but it's the name Mylar of that... Wine Knot. So Mylar yeah. Wine Knot. And if you go to all collections, they're all listed mm -hmm. alphabetical. And I know you yeah. want to go down to that W for wine. Go to Mylar Wine Knot and you'll right. see those there. And I just want to say uh, to Joyce Kirkpatrick that uh, she's drooling over the turquoise bag behind you. Well, she didn't say she's drooling, but she's loving it. So uh, I just want her to know we will be talking about that upcoming. Yes. Hey, so if you have any embroidery friends who love Mylar and know Patricia Gates or don't know Patricia Gates, send them a, uh, an invite to come on over and watch the broadcast for sure. Oh, yes. Yes. Because yeah. there's, there's a replay. There'll yep. be a replay. And the um, Chinese dragons, where are they on your website? What's the title of them? Mylar Chinese dragons. There you and go. And that, that okay. brings up yet another good point. You know, the, the, the audience is great for prompting questions, right? right. So uh, about, let's say, 97% of what we do is Mylar embroidery. Um, so as long as Mylar is in the actual title of the collection, you know you're getting a collection that's created for Mylar. OK, so a lot of them will have the word Mylar in front of it. So when you're looking for it on our website, if you go to the all collections, it's all there alphabetical. You've got to remember, oh, yeah, the word Mylar is in front of it. Now, there's some where um, Mylar's in the title, but it may not be the first word. Uh, the collection that we have called Dogs 3, which is actually right behind me in the uh, with the little dog houses. Um, that's Dogs 3 with Mylar. OK. Um, and I've made a placemat for Bunny oh. to put her bowls on. I did find this wonderful plastic uh, cover to uh, you insert your placemat in there. I found that on Amazon. Nice. So that, a lot of people want to know where they've gotten that. And you just wipe it clean and you're right. good to go. But all of these are elements that you get with the Dogs 3 collection. Right. Right. You know, Patricia Hale said that, you know, she uh, she said uh, she never liked Mylar before, but this looks great. She wants, you know, she wants to give it a try. And that's a fairly common feeling that Mylar, eh, you know, you might resist. They're but just not getting you, the right designs. You're not you getting right come to the right place. <laughs> right. When it's done tastefully, <laughs> it's just really engaging, inviting. You just can't want to do it. Oh, and then yeah. Denise Forsythe wants to know. Can your designs be embroidered without mylar? They can. Um, we a question that we get a lot. You may not want that sparkle, or maybe you're doing something for a gentleman that doesn't want the sparkle. We've got a collection called Mylar Campers, and we've had a lot of men just come in the booth and just stand there and stare at it. <clears throat> Their question is, "That's really great. I love that. Got to have it, but I don't want all that sparkle." Yeah. So I've told them it stitches beautifully without it. Um, and you get that look like, yeah, sure, you're just trying to sell me something. So mm -hmm. I had stitched a, uh, a, a little banner with a bunch of them on there without the mylar. And they're right next to the ones with mylar. So you can see how nicely that it's still a very well digitized design. It's just not going to sparkle. Right, right. So, so yes, you, definitely you can do it without. And sometimes mm -hmm. you get a really cool uh, effect without the mylar in there, too. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Anyone who has stitched my designs knows there's a layer of stitching underneath and a layer of stitching on top. Sometimes if you use a different color on the bottom, it has a really cool uh, effect on the color without the mylar. So mm -hmm. I yeah. uh, encourage you to try it if you want to. Yeah, and so uh, NC Lawson asked, can mylar designs be washed? Well, earlier in the program, um, Patricia did discuss that. It most certainly can be laundered over and over. No, you don't have to worry about um, it, any harm or flaking or dissolving. It's all good. You, yeah. th you can throw that item in the hot dryer. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people go, oh, you even iron it? And I said, well, you know, sometimes I've got some cotton shirts, that kind of thing. I run my iron over the top. If you laid your iron on our mylar embroidery designs, Nothing's going to happen to that mylar, but you're going to have a hell of a blob of melted thread, right? So you're not yeah. going to sit there with the iron on top of it because it's going to melt your thread first. So you, yeah, you can run you run a, r briefly, run it over the top, mm -hmm. but uh, do a lot of your ironing from the backside. Great. That's what I awesome. would do. But yeah, hot iron, uh, hot dryer, all of that. You don't have to worry about any of that. Um, this is, this is fun. I've had, and I think we've got a picture on our customer project page. Someone has taken uh, our designs from Chefs 2 and they did hot pads with them. And um, it was some of these single phrases that we have, the whistle while you work. Yes. Um, simmer, oh. It would simmer down <laughs> is what they did, which is great for a hot pad. And then we've got... Um, Perk up, oh, darling. Sweet. That will go with, you know, your teacup, teacup, tea towels, yeah. you know, um, and then shake it off. But yeah, these are great. Uh, this goes along with your kind of your question. Not only can they be laundered, but um, if you do make a hot pan out of this, I probably would um, make that the backside. You, mm -hmm. I, if you were using a hot pan, put it down this way, because again, it's not the mylar you're going to be worried about. It's the thread. You don't want to melt your polyester thread. Um, right. So just. But I can tell you exquisite polyester thread has a very high heat resistance uh, level. I've never been, I've never burned our thread. Good. Good yeah. to know. I yeah. wasn't brave enough to try it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've tried it. I've, I've microwaved thread for different reasons and, you know, haven't, oh. haven't been well, able yeah. to blow it up. Um, <laughs> So let's see, Rita, tried. our good friend Ranky wants to know, can mylar be used on terry cloth kitchen towels? Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. and I've got a terry towel sample that will be coming up in the midst of some of okay. this uh, in a while. So just to show you that, yeah. I haven't yeah. found a, um, uh, I, I always say I embroider anything that doesn't move, okay? And I haven't found anything that doesn't move that I can't embroider on yet, right? <laughs> Uh, you using the mylar. So um, I've done it on leather, yeah. um, uh, the cork, um, mm -hmm. terry cloth, waffle weave, vinyl, you know, all of that. Uh, even the um, the rip stop, like for flags. Sure. Flag, if, uh, I've had people ask if they could do an outdoor flag um, mm -hmm. banner kind of thing. Yeah. And they were worried about the mylar out in the weather. And it's like... Uh, it's not going to be an issue. It's not going to be an issue. It, you, your threads may eventually fade or, or something. I, I haven't um, tried it out in the weather, but um, yeah, go for it. I mean, there's not, not anything that I haven't found that you can't work with. So awesome. Yeah. Well, I made some hot pads. Should I show them now? Please. Okay. Please. I'm so excited to see these. Yeah. So first I thought I would, I have to get my mice here set up, but so today's special is a, a color play. This is a whole new collection of threads. So it has a variegated thread and four of the solids that make up that variegated. And so I went over to purelygates.com and browse through all those beautiful Mylar designs, but I wanted to make a hot pad and a coaster. So I selected her Quilting Designs 3. So let's go over to the overhead cam and take a look. Here is her beautiful quilting design. And it comes in from a 5-inch block all the way up to a 10-inch, I think. And it also comes in a rectangular format, you know, if you're doing a quilt or so forth. So here it is just with the variegated. And this is our um, Logan our Logan collection. So here you can see the exquisite thread, the, the variegated and the four elements that make it up. Now let's take a look at what I did with it. So here we have the coasters and here we'll unwrap them so we can take a look at all the different ones that I did. 
This is the same design as the large hot pad, but what I, you know, different fabric. And then I took her beautiful uh, quilting design into software and I added some satin elements to these be this beautiful artwork. I mean, it's just oh, that's stunning. Really cool. artwork. Yeah, isn't that fun, Patricia? Those are our bot botanicals, yes. So that's yes, just gorgeous. So I d so when you buy her collection, you would get this quilting design as the as such. But I wanted to showcase how that variegated works so well with a quilting design. And here you can see the four colors and all of the different little you know elements, solid colors that I added, so that it's a whole cohesive element. Oh, I just love that. So that's that. And then we have uh, our next one is so cool. <laughs> our denim collection. I call this, this is the Nashville collection. I call it the, the denim because it's denim blue variegated and then four individual blue colors. And then this is what that stitches out like. Now I added these candle wicking dots. I went into my software and just added them so I could have the solid accent to the variegated thread. Really fun, fun, fun. That's very creative. Thank you. I really had a blast doing it. This one on this pretty kind of teal, these are so delicate. So take a look. This is our Savannah collection. And again, that variegated is very delicate and a pink and a blue and a soft yellow and a very soft green. And so when you stitch that on a medium or a dark colored fabric, you're then going to be able to get that variegated look as the thread travels all through the quilting stitches. And then I added those satins. So when you purchase a Patricia Gates collection, it will not have those elements. That's something that I added on my own. I just don't want you to be confused about that. And then the last one I did is the Paris collection. Oh, I thought this was super fun. This oh, pretty kind of purple, isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you her quilting, so, you know, this is so artistic and there is only one beginning and a tie off at the end. That's it. There's no tie offs in the middle. Everything is a continuous run. It stitches beautifully, just lovely. And here are the colors that make up our Paris collection. So we have the amber glow and the yellow chiffon, the copper, the um, main, main, uh, mandarin, sorry, and the terracotta. They are super fun, really, really fun. We've had some lovely samples stitched out with color play. And I think you're going to find a lot of different reasons to use color play. This one is one of my favorites. This is Carlsbad. Look at that fun collection. Here's all the colors that come on Ooh. that. That's our sunset variegated and these four colors. They look a little odd when you see them separately, but when they stitch out together, they're beautiful. They're really lovely accents. And so then, you know, one by one, they are just adorable. I guess I'm actually going this way. Aren't they lovely? So much fun. Those are so cool. I, I've yeah. always, I've I actually always worked the opposite way of it is I've got four or five colors and I was hoping to find a variegated that would go with those that have those colors. So you've already done the work. Right. So I'm, I'm glad to see that y'all have that. Right. Absolutely. So Mary Larson asks, is that sewn on velvet? Those are all cotton fabrics, just plain hundred percent cotton fabric with batting, um, Behind it, although the, the larger pad, the larger hot pad, I did use Insult Bright in there so I could put, you know, a hot pan on it or something. Yeah. And Pam McConnell wants to know what's the name of the quilting collection you are showing? And that is Quilting 3. Is that right? Yeah, quilting Designs 3. And you'll notice the word Mylar is not in that title. So it is a, a collection created without mylar. So quilting designs three. Yes. And it's yes. all botanicals. And like she said, every, every design comes in um, six different block sizes mm -hmm. and four different hoop sizes. So uh, the rectangular ones, five by seven, okay. six by 10, eight by 12 and 10 by 16. My... It was really hard to choose. You know, here's my dilemma, Patricia. You, you know, I have a pretty tight schedule here at Dime. And so I often, you know, um, I think about the next week's Facebook Live, but I don't often get to my sample making till maybe a day or two days 
on a good week prior. And, <laughs> you know, when I started stitching these yesterday, oh, I was like, I'm, I want to do the all of them. I wanted to do every block, every single one. But, you know, I have to, you know, trim it down to a manageable amount of time so I can show up here on time today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it, my goal, again, in my spare time is I want to take um, some of those. I want to do a large sheet of fabric, so to speak, yeah. and quilt it with that. And then I'm going to use it to make a purse. Right. I, and well, variegated I, threads would be beautiful. With oh, that. they are just stunning. So yeah. Cindy Clark wants to know, will there be any coupons? You bet. There's going to be coupons for Pearly, Purely Gates today. And that'll be shared at the end of today's broadcast. And some other questions that people have asked, they've asked if Purely Gates will be on the road this year. They will be. We discussed that at length in the beginning of the, broad, of the broadcast. So you can always watch the rebroadcast and just catch that um, then. So. And it's on the events on our website where we're oh, going to be. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. fun. So we hope to see you all there, whichever yeah. one you show up at. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're pretty much all over the country this year. We're, we're, we're going some places we hadn't been before, and then we're, we're repeating at other ones we have. So it's going to be a lot of fun this year. Um, That's awesome. Seeing some new places. Yes. Yeah. Are Good. you ready to go to another section of yes, gifts? Yes, I think so. Personal, Personal gifts. gifts. All right. Some of these are going to be ones, again, where you've, you've, uh, you've bought something to embroider, and then some of them, there's a pattern to make it. So... Um, Everyone, everyone loves a bag, right? Everyone loves to put their stuff in something. So why not personalize it for the person that you're um, thinking about? And we've got quite a few different themes. Um, this one is from our seashells collection. And that's our shell, yeah. So there's a lot of, <laughs> shell, yeah. It's so uh, cute. A lot of different phrases in our Mylar seashells collection. And you get the designs in five by seven and I believe eight by 12. Nice. So that makes that big design makes great decoration for a bag yeah. like this, a nice zippered bag. Got That's them a big tote. That's it's, a big oh, bag. They're wonderful. You're going to notice I have quite a few of them. Um, the next one I've taken from our dogs three uh -huh. and we've got our paw print there. Oh, Look at that lettering. Isn't that fabulous? Yeah. Look at it with that and all kind nice of and shadow sparkly. outline. Oh, you guys really rock it. I'll tell you. Um, Bunny has her own travel bag. So she does. If, if you got, yes. <laughs> She's quite the diva. <laughs> um, anyway, so, I mean, if you've got, uh, if you needed to pack something for your pet or, or that kind of thing, or you're just uh, a dog enthusiast, um, that, that would be a fun thing. And then we've got, um, maybe you're making a picnic, putting together a picnic, or you're going to the beach and you want to put your towels in something. This is our fruit punch collection. Nice. And it's the same bag as before. It just didn't have the color accents. It's zippered, which is nice. Again, purchased. Uh, and I've taken our, um, pure shape and made a little zipper pull with one of the orange slices. Super cute. And hey, Barbara Jones wants to know, are there plans to make designs for really big hoops? Well, Barbara, tell us how big of a hoop you're talking about. <laughs> um, a lot of, really, a lot I mean, of really designs... in the comments, Barbara, tell us. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm not being, I'm not being snarky. Um, I really um, want to know. We are, we are putting larger and larger collection uh, uh, designs in the collections. Um, for those that want to take advantage of those mega hoops that we have. But I yeah. always do put a five by seven version in there so that we're not leaving anyone out. So mm -hmm. if you wanted to buy a collection, it's like, oh, well, I can't stitch these. You're getting the same ones in a five by seven size. So five by seven is your largest. Um, you're good, but they do. Uh, a lot of them also include either eight by eight, eight by 12, some 10 by 16 uh, designs that go with it. So that gives you that ability to... Yeah. Um, use those 10 so and Bar five eights Barbara, by 16. Yeah, yeah. Barbara would like to see that, you know, really large, um, uh, 10 by six, 10 and a half by 16 um, in the rectangle size, of course, in your 10 and a half in your 10 inch blocks, that most certainly accommodates that big hoop. And Sandra Lee wants the 200 by 360. There's so. your 10 and five eights by 16. This one design. Very nice. And there very, is a quilting nice. motif behind that in the, in the same size. Beautiful. So yes, we are 
we are listening. <laughs> yes, you are listening. You are okay. always listening. And it's important to listen. But that's right? the beauty of the road because we get instant feedback. Mm -hmm. Right. We get suggestions for collections and, yeah. and 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 also I get to answer people's questions one on one. I always do answer them online, but it's always, you know, fun that I can sit there and talk with my hands while I'm doing it. So <laughs> Right, right, for sure. Let's see. And of course, okay. Joyce Kirkpatrick, she loved the love bag and wondering if you have an alphabet font with all of the letters of the alphabet. We do. It's not that uh, font. Um, we're going to be doing more because we do get that question a lot. I do have one called Mylar Alphabet 2 that has the upper and lowercase version of uh, the alphabet. Uh, yeah. And they all fit in a... <laughs> They all fit in a four by four hoop. And I had, I do have a sample on that collection page showing where I've used them to spell things. Uh, right. We have two monogram fonts, um, but we'll be working because we've been doing so many phrase uh, type mm -hmm. collections. Um, we've been talking about doing full alphabets that people can use. Now right. they won't be typewriter fonts. Mm -hmm. You won't go in and type in a name. You'll have to bring each letter in as a design. Yeah. Well, Joyce says, yay. <laughs> All right, so we've got some uh, bags that you can make. There's so many patterns out there, right? So many patterns um, that you can oh, get your hands on, or you can just kind of create your own. But this one uses our, this is great for a, <clears throat> maybe a tween, maybe even oh, younger. And this uses that. our Mylar Unique Chic. This one also comes with a quilting motif that are repeated three times. So it makes it, again, we're in the personal items section. This is also from our unique shape. Now here's here's a, a fun idea oh. for grandma. Okay. Oh. Let the grandchild pick whichever little girl they want. She stitches oh. it out or teaches them to stitch it out. And then they can color it in. And then you can either make a, a pillow or a little purse. And then they've got something that they've made. Yeah. And that's, that's how my adorable. Just lovely. Just Love the eyelashes. <laughs> yeah. You know, if just, only we had them right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hey, I'm just going to interrupt. So one of our friends wanted to know how I finished my, uh, you know, my uh, pot holder, uh -huh. she called it. So I'll just tell, show you real quick. On the back, I put two pieces of fabric that are about three inches by six. This is a five inch uh, finished coaster. And then I just fold down the top edge and then lay it, you know, on the hoop. I do digitize a square around the exterior, you know, of the quilting design and then, you know, lay one square, you know, one piece down and then the second piece down and then just turn it right side out. And that's how easy it is to finish it. Yeah, and you don't have to do that with digitizing wise. You can do that on the sewing machine. Super fast. Yeah. Right sides together, turn kind of thing. Right. Right side together, turn. Don't trim too close to the corners and blow out your corner. Yep. Right. We've all done it. <laughs> you stick your scissors yeah. in there instead of a turning tool and you're oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You're you're welcome, Natalie. And uh we are getting we were going to get to that denim tote bag behind uh Patricia eventually. So hang in there. She's yes, getting we're, to it. we're in that category. Yeah. Okay. Um we have now uh, I know I'm gonna get the emails, but we have uh uh done some state, we call them postcards, postcard designs. Um, and this is just a fun tote that I've done with the Texas one, uh, putting that on there. And each of the states that you see online uh -huh. um, that we've done has uh, landmarks and everything related to that state in there. But uh, this is just, this is a tote we do have a pattern for um, that if you wanted so to cute. get real personal and have the time, you can, you can make the tote that you put that embroidery on. Right. But that's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. We'll go ahead and get to this one. Okay, here we go. Drum roll. You want a drum roll? Here, I can give you a drum roll. Well, what what I would do? Okay, I, I made I made this one. I made it up. Um, I did not write a pattern for it because there are, like I said, a pajillion patterns that you can get. And what sure. I would get is a barrel bag. That's the shape. A barrel bag pattern. And it has the um, our collection uh, Mylar Western Flourish on it. 
Wow, bring that closer to the camera. Look at that basket weave. Oh my heavens. Oh, and the long horn, that is just stunning. It looks like carved wood. It looks like tooled leather. Oh, it's beautiful, really beautiful. I hope that it's only stuffed with tissue paper and you never use that. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> um, but I could. Yeah. But I could because it would it would wear very well. That's right. Um, and That's I just right. did some of the designs underneath and that kind of thing. And I got to tell y'all, uh, hardware makes a huge, yeah. huge difference on going from a homemade to a mm. custom bag, right? Yes. Don't it's call it homemade. It's always custom. Um, this That's is another right. pattern um, full of, uh, it's all cork uh -huh. to show you again how beautifully this oh. stitches out. Yeah. And then we've got our, our fun bunny Aww. on the front. So, so you can cute. see how nice even a design like that stitches um, on cork. Yeah. Um, but again, hardware is, is, is the key to making it look nice and professional. Right. Um, again, a lot of patterns out there. This is one, a pattern that I did buy. If you are curious about it, email me and I'll let you know because uh, I'll have to look it up to see whose pattern this was. Um, but it's a great pattern um, and it just really looks, really looks nice um, yeah. and embroiders very well. Mm -hmm. So right. Risa, Risa Ranke wants to know, do you sell the cork and hardware? I do not. And I'm going to make a recommendation if that's okay, Eileen. Oh, absolutely. Um, SallyTomato.com. To yeah. SallyTomato.com. SallyTomato.com. That's where you get the cork and awesome hardware. So don't yes. hesitate to go to SallyTomato.com. She has it all and, and she's got patterns too. Oh yeah. Beautiful patterns. Yeah. And very well written, clearly yes. illustrated. Yeah. We love Sally Tomato. And, and anything you make with her stuff um, comes out looking very professional. Yeah. And so, you know, on the turquoise bag, Patricia, what collection did you use? Mylar Western Flourish. Mylar Western Florist, Joyce. Now, don't let yeah. the Western throw you because there are yeah. a lot of florals right. in this yeah. collection. A lot of florals. And, and that scroll work is, you know, it's just a traditional look. It's not necessarily Western. Right. You know, really, it isn't. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it is great for the bands, for your, your, um, yeah. your handles and that kind right. of thing. Gorgeous. Now we're going to go from the extreme to the most simple tote bag, right? Yeah. Everybody can get their hands on these. Mm -hmm. um, this uses our Mylar chalkboard art. Um, here I just left the white thread in. Oh. You can't get any quicker than that. Monochromatic, yep. white thread, letter rip. Yeah. <laughs> you can do a whole bunch of them. You can do a different saying for every friend, your quilt group, your quilt guild. Yep. Um, that kind of thing. And of course, we couldn't go without our little uh, remark here. Uh huh. My Lauren Burger is the answer. I don't care what the question is. <laughs> awesome. And then again, um, even on, in, in the, most oh. simple oh and that is our She's our little divas. diva yeah any so little cute. girl would love to get that mm -hmm. so just and all i you know you add your little again it's personal items add your little personal touches and i just um uh, lined it to cover up the back of the embroidery and sure. make it a nice little purse so mm -hmm. it, it, it going from mm -hmm. i've got time to yeah. oh dear lord i need a gift right, right. Okay. Which brings us right into Arnell's question. So she says on that beautiful denim turquoise bag, did you embroider it before you cut out the pattern? I did. So, absolutely, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I planned so it out. Embroidered the yardage. And honestly, I quilted, quilted mm -hmm. a big old slab of fabric first. Okay. Then I planned it out. Um, mm -hmm. a, a good, if you want um, some good information, I've got a two-part video on garment embroidery, but it also talks about planning your project and how to sure. do that so you can see it before you even stitch your first stitch. So Makes check sense. that out. The video's on our website. Great. Um, let's see what else I have here in this category. 
Okay, so then um, while you're digging, uh, Mary okay. Phelps is just, what was the coffee and chocolate? What collections were the oh, coffee and chocolate saying? That is our Mylar chalkboard art. Okay. Mylar chalkboard art. Mm -hmm. So Barb Mary has a question. Are you going to make some of your older designs bigger, like Christmas, Halloween, and Thanksgiving? So I guess your question will be, well, would you buy it again, Barbara? <laughs> <laughs> right? I didn't even have to say that. <laughs> yeah. So that's always the dilemma of a uh, company, a digitizer, an artist. You know, if I've already offered it in one version and I change the size or with some other element, you know, would you really purchase it again? So that's the dilemma with everybody who has to put out new product all the time. Right? And it would be different if we could just resize it. But yeah. in a lot of cases, it has to be redigitized. Right. Oh, for and, sure. Yeah. yeah. And that's why I tell people you don't want to go messing with the size that you yeah. purchased it in, because if uh, it was digitized smaller or digitized larger, either mm -hmm. some elements would have been left out or right. some elements would have been included. But also there's things that do change depending upon the size. So, yes, it's got to be redigitized if you want it in a different size. Yeah. So thank you for... <laughs> given that answer because that's oh, what yeah. i was going to oh, say I, just think, I think people are understanding you know it um they if when they when it's clearly explained you know yes. they understand i'm stumbling over my words but uh rosanna hadlock wanted to know what thread on that turquoise bag well patricia only uses it's exquisite dime, exquisite thread yep. so and the sparkle you see is the mylar yeah now okay. When you get a mylar embroidery design, the areas of mylar, I've already determined where they're going to sparkle. So when I digitized it, I decided, well, I want this part to sparkle and this part to sparkle. So it's not something that you can just say, oh, well, I, I want this. No, it's predetermined. So uh, that's another question I get. It's like, oh, well, I think I'll do the, I think I'll do the bow and make it sparkle. And well, I didn't do the bow in mylar, but I did right. the, 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 the flower kind of thing in mylar. Yeah. yeah. So sure. it's predetermined, but yes. Yeah. Everything you're seeing here is exquisite thread. Yeah. And, you know, we have to remember that embroidery is art and um, it's the artist and the digitizer's choice as to where that metallic accent would go. Right. With the right. mylar. Right. So, yeah. And where your creativity your comes in is the colors that you choose mm -hmm. and how you tr choose to prevent it, to prevent it, present it. Present it. <laughs> present right. It. Okay. Okay. This is those pop-ups. <laughs> so fun. Oh, my God. Uh, these things come in as small as a pencil can, like a uh -huh. pencil can, as big as a laundry hamper, right? Yeah. So that's just, you know, screaming opportunity for embroidery, right? So, right. again, we're in personal gifts. We've got our dog treat. So Adorable. we got a little personal gift for your little furry friend. That's in dogs three. And then we've got, uh, this is our chalkboard art. Now, the one I showed you on the um, tote bag was the 8 by 12 size. You're also getting it in 5 by 7. And is that what those panels are, the 5 by 7? These are the 5 by 7. Yeah. Gosh, they're gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Wynell says, love everything. Me too. I want it all. This is another nice personalized gift, again, for your sewing friends. And it's just a steno pad cover. Mm -hmm. Not a pattern for this, but if you've ever covered a book, yeah, you, you can figure out how to do how to do that. Sure. And this is actually chalkboard fabric that I've oh. embroidered on, or you can do vinyl, that kind of thing. Yeah. So Denise Forsythe wants to know, can de designs be used for things to sell like a craft, shares, a share, uh, craft fairs or only for personal use? You can use them uh, to embroider on items for resale. Yes, we do not have a problem with that. Yeah, we do have a lot of people that do that, um, especially with um, being in Texas and having the road Houston Rodeo every year. We've got quite a few Texas collections that a lot of the ladies will embroider on things and, and sell at the, at the fairs. All right. And the fun keeps going. So the pop-ups. Um, when you buy, it's actually spring, uh, you can buy a pattern for those as well. So they're made specifically for the pop-ups and you can, again, get those in different sizes. So you can, you can find those, uh, at your favorite craft store, your favorite, uh, quilt store, um, or online. Okay. This is 
this is a little pouch I just made. Let me get my. Oh, these are sweet. Um, so these use, and actually I did the smaller one, but I decided to, to stay with the, the big one. Um, and this uses our Mylar Swirly Girly uh, collection. You could put, um, you could line this with a vinyl fabric and put your makeup brushes in there. Um, you can put your glasses or your sunglasses in here because it does have padding. And I also found it works beautifully for my phone. And oh, yeah. it's cork. Oh, it's cork. Isn't it's that cork. stunning? It's really fun to have that metallic, you know, that glimmer and shine in contrast to the cork. Oh, that's mm -hmm. a really nice. You've got your nice flat textured yeah. surface and then you've got that sparkle. We've got our little sunglasses there. I'm going to get those to sparkle. So there is a pattern for this on our website and we call it the zippered pouch. Okay. And if uh, we didn't mention it before, um, but our website is purelygates.com. That would be nice. Yep. There we go. We're okay. running it on the bottom there. Okay. And of course, Marilyn Rodway wants to know, are we going to be able to see your Christmas collection? Will that be coming up? Yes, that is our next section. Next okay. Section. Cool. We're almost there. We're almost yeah. there. Yeah. Hang okay. in there, folks. <laughs> and remember, if you have friends who love Mylar embroidery or who haven't tried it and might want to get their feet wet, invite them over to join in the fun. All right. Oh, lovely. Now, this one is some of the designs also included in our Mylar Western Flourish. It's got a simple cross. The cross is, there's there are no other, other crosses on that one, but again, it's got that nice flourish with it, with a cross. But Bible covers, those are so quick and easy yeah. to do. Um, this is from our Mylar Decorative. Let's see yeah. if I can get the right angle here. Yeah. And what a nice gift to give someone or, you know, a married couple, you know, a, a family Bible when they, when they marry, you know, it's really great. Mm -hmm. Or you can, you can uh, make a banner with them and maybe put their, their information on there, their uh, wedding date or, or just, it's just nice to have. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Beautiful. Very elegant. Um, shirts and jackets. Now, <clears throat> you may not want to tackle, he's like, I don't want to tackle a jacket right now. We're so close to Christmas. But all you need is one design, and you've got something that someone will absolutely love. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is our Mylar floral monogram. And obviously, it is a G. And you can see I've got crystals on there as well as the Mylar in the flowers. Beautiful. So again, this is one of our one and done. Yeah. And then I couldn't pass this up. What's it say? My yours <laughs> is authentic. Well, yours might be. Mine isn't. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I can't wear that jacket. This is from our Texas yeah. Four, and it's got a lot of different phrases to it. And this is just, this is a little toddler jacket. Oh, so that's, that's cute. a lot of fun. Super cute. That's and then great. we've got collections like our Mylar from the heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that's timeless. One. Just timeless. And then again, for your dog lover. Mm -hmm. Dog mom. Dog mom. That's on dogs three. Again, so you don't have to make it. You can buy it and embroider it. And, and uh, if, if clothing intimidates you, again, check out my garment videos on the website. Um, <clears throat> I know this is a long section, but oh, we kept talking about the dogs, right? I have a cat collection called Cat's Meow. Aww. Full of phrases. It's Aww. got 12, 12 or 15, 12, really 12 cool. different cats in 4x4 and 5x7 and a whole bunch of phrases. It gives you the ability to put any phrase with any cat and pillows oh, really? are always. Oh, the, that's yes. fun. So that's really fun. So all you cat lovers, you have lots of possibilities. If you have friends who are cat lovers, you might want to invite them over to check that out. I like how you can mix cat with the uh, saying. Super fun. 
we do that with our dogs as well. You, it's got a whole yeah. bunch of phrases and you can put whatever dog you want to. Yeah. Um, uh, this is again, our floral monogram. Mm. But what makes this one different is it's stitched just like it. You know, it's uh, black writing stitch thread and all mm -hmm. this frills and swirls, but I took markers and the green oh. and light green is actually fabric marker. Lovely. The purple is your mylar flowers. Yeah. So that's a nice little personal pillow. Mm -hmm. And so Lori Walters wants to know, how would you launder these? With soap and water <laughs> in a washing machine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying well, to think I of think something maybe, funny and that came if out. You're if you're talking about the fabric markers, you do normally have to heat set them with an iron. Okay. All I wasn't thinking about fabric markers. Yes. Yeah, that come with the markers. And then you are normally free to launder that. But in that instance, I would follow the instructions on the markers. On the you know, they may yeah. say, um, you know, heat set, but air dry, or who knows what they'll say. Follow that. Right. I wouldn't the mylar, the yeah, the mylar is going to live through any laundry process you put it through. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, and so this let's is see. So Shauna wants to know, would the crosses work the same as you did with the hanging butterflies? Can you make those crosses 3D? Yes. In fact, uh, that's on my to-do list um, before I get back on the road in January, because I think the crosses would make a great um, uh, uh, bookmark. Sure. Can't think of the word bookmark. Sure. So, you know, while we're on, before we move on to love. Um, so Patty, will the marker come out in the wash? Well, it could come out in the wash. So that's why you have to read the instructions Every fiber marker is different. Some are permanent when they're heat set and some are not. And so uh, some will say, this is just for decoration only. You're not going to launder this item, that type of thing. So just be careful. And that's uh, why I also didn't um, recommend any particular markers because they are they are so different. There's, they there's are so such different. a variety out there. Yeah, for sure. And so Anita wants to know, um, she's been looking at your roses and so forth, but uh, so she's asking, can you resize? And Anita, Patricia says, no, not to, right? We recommend you don't because of the nature of the mylar embroidery you're seeing through the stitches. And I've created the areas of mylar with a clean fill. If you resize them, you're going to see all those weird stitches running through them. And the roses on the jacket, um, there are two sizes in there, but the four there's four by four and five by seven. You will see that those two designs are different, but it does give you um, some smaller sizes to use in smaller areas and then some larger designs to use in larger areas. Um, but that's, again, I can't reiterate that enough because if I get an email and they send a picture to me and it's like, what happened? What, did, what happened? And the first thing I, I said, well, I see that you've resized it. Yeah. So, you know, when you That's can't resize, you know, there is a workaround, right? So you just put more repeats. You know, if yes. you have a big jacket back that's eight inches wide by 10 tall and your design is four by four, well, you're not going to put one four by four rows in the center of that great big canvas. You're going you to create it. your own layout and, you yeah. know, fill that area with the beautiful mylar. Now, uh, Linda R Rising wants to know, when can we see a demo or where can we see a demo? Well, she has, uh, Patricia Gates has beautiful videos explaining this whole Mylar process on your website, right? Yes. And all the hint and tip videos are on the website. And there are at least two that show me stitching a Mylar embroidery design. So you can see really how simple yeah. it is. Because when you're laying it down and when you're tearing it away, it is a color change. Mm -hmm. So your machine does stop. If you've got a multi a uh, needle machine, then um, you will have to put the stops in like you would yeah. for an applique design. Right. But other than that, it does stop for you. Mm -hmm. And you'll see on the color chart when to do that for each design. And, and when you place a mylar, when you tear it away, will be different for every design. So you do have right. to look at the chart we provide to you to get that information. And the chart is color coded like street lights. I'm telling you, you can't make a mistake, <laughs> right? She means green light, red light. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Okay, carry on. Okay, um, this is, I think, our last personal gift. Um, you don't necessarily have to do the word love with our floral monogram collection, but you could do a name or you could do initials. You could, uh, it's, it'd be great for a wedding gift or a, a banner for the wedding couple. Maybe you have their last name, uh, uh, 
as the monogram, the uh, first letter, and then you could put like his name over here in a small script and then her name on the other side. Um, but there's a lot of possibilities with this. This particular collection, the Mylar Floral Monogram, on, the only design cut, uh, size this comes in is eight by eight. Um, for those that have the five by seven hoop as their largest hoop, we came out with the Mylar Floral Monogram 2, which is the lowercase version that works with this one. So if you wanted to use them together, you can. But if five by seven is your largest hoop, you'll want to go to the Mylar Floral Monogram 2 because those will fit in your five by seven. Hoop. And you, you can do the same thing as this. And they all come with the extra flowers that you see in there. Right. And don't hesitate. You know, don't be worried about lowercase. It's so trendy now to just do all lowercase. And that's because we text all the time and we never bother to use that capital <laughs> anymore, right? Exactly. Exactly. Right. It's obsolete. <laughs> yes. Almost. 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 Okay. Let's get to the holiday stuff. Um, these are some things that you can either make as gifts or as you can use for decorating. Um, we've got a collection called Mylar Christmas Ornaments. And again, with our Pure Shape product. Oh, you'll have the ability yeah. to stitch them out and make them ornaments and you can oh. hang them on your tree. So whimsical. And you can also use that two sided technique that you'll see in the video for the pure, okay. pure shop, pure shape product. Um, again, you can access that from our homepage because you'll see it right there. And then in the Mylar Christmas ornaments as well, <clears throat> some of the ornaments don't, let's see, don't necessarily scream Christmas, right? They can be yeah. for any holiday, but you also have the, uh, a gift for you that you can put on the back of it. So it can be yeah. a gift tag yeah. for any time of the year. Great. Also with that collection, I did a string, the Christmas lights. Oh, Two well, sided. they never burn out. Just a... <laughs> Right? You might, but they won't. Yeah, you might, but they won't. We won't live That's through that. <laughs> so those are those are quick stitch outs. Um, you could put one in a Christmas card. You could put it on a on a gift bag. Um, we have a a pattern for Mylar Christmas ornaments. There's a pattern that shows you how to make them two sided ornaments and how to do the gift tag and get that all aligned. And then okay. there's a pattern. Uh, to make this table runner. Let's see if Aww. we go side to side, if it works better that way. Yeah. And this Very is, nice. again, designs from our Marla Christmas ornaments. Four by four designs, and there's some five by seven on there. Super fun. So a pattern for this table runner as well. Um, Thanksgiving hits first. So this is a fun one, just doing um, a banner. I know some, um, you can get those, banner hangers from Ackfeld um, and you could do a square and do each season. So that's a quick gift that you can give someone or just again for, for doing a quick decorating in your own house. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. He was telling me, tell them where it's at. You can find this um, because you probably would never think this, but it is in our collection Mylar trick or treat. And that fits in a five by seven hoop. Uh, Mylar Snowflakes, nice, cute little banner. I've oh. added crystals to this. Look at that sheen. That's lovely. And here, yep. just pulling colors from the fabric that you use. Mm -hmm. So that's Mylar Snowflakes, but we also have a Mylar Snowflakes 2. And I've got some um, table runners that I've done with those. You'll see on the website. But I also made snowflakes using the pure shape and you'll oh. see they are two-sided. So this is yeah. kind of the same thing as how you will do your ornaments. Mm -hmm. Love the blue and white. It's nice and icy. Yeah. And great for Hanukkah also. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Placemats. Maybe you've got someone, um, in uh, an elderly person in a nursing home, that kind of thing, and you want to brighten up their holiday, just a single placemat that they can use when they go to the dining hall or that kind of thing. Yeah. These are two designs are from our Mylar Holiday 2 collection. So there's um, uh, some nice corner designs in mm -hmm. that collection. Uh, this is from our Mylar <clears throat> Western Christmas. 
And we've got our tree shape with all the important words there. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice decor. All right. And this, um, for the person that was asking, this fits in your 10 by 16 hoop. If you don't have a hoop that large, you do get all of the words separately too. So you can build your own. Oh, that's, and that's great. in the color change chart, the instructions for that. You know, Again, speaking of the color change car, uh, chart, Cindy wants to know, does the CD include the thread colors that you used in your examples? Yeah. And so there are all, there are CDs and there are also digital downloads, correct? Correct. On yes. all of the collections? Correct. Okay. You can get it either way. Mm -hmm. um, some of the new computers are not coming with a CD drive. So we've got the digital downloads. Some people feel the need to still have that CD in their hand, or um, some people don't want to have anything to do with the CD and they don't want to store it. So we've got the option for either you can get it as a CD or you can get it as a digital download. Very nice. Um, but um, I don't want anybody, obviously Christmas is green and red, but um, don't get hung up on the colors that I use because again, what did I do? I bought my fabric for my project first, pulled the colors I saw from it, and that's where the colors came from the project. But <clears throat> in about 99% of the cases, the colors you're seeing on these samples are the colors you're seeing on the color change chart that we provide. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, right. This one is also from our Western Christmas. And this one comes with the ability to uh, make these little four by four ornaments. And this is a fun little idea. This is just uh, a little banner and I've got them hanging off the top with a wooden dowel at the top and the bottom. So that's a fun display. That's a great way to display a pretty, you know, a quilt block, really. I mean, it's yeah. really, it's a quilt block. Yeah. So you don't have to do gigantic projects to fill your house with the holiday spirit, right? Right. You can do something that either hangs by the door or, or is in a hallway or an entry area that yeah. everybody passes through and you just walk through and smile, right? Right. <laughs> so nice. Okay. We've got our... Christmas oh. stockings. Yeah. So there is a pattern for this and it is called Christmas stockings <laughs> um, with the <laughs> fabric requirements, all that other fun stuff. This one is from uh, designs from our Mylar Western Christmas. No, no it's Western Sorry. Christmas. And then this one is designs, not the name, but the design from our Mylar Santa and his elves. Mm -hmm. And then I chose a uh, lettering to go on the top of that. Mm -hmm. You can make the cuff a, out of a, uh, a, a fur type fabric or a minky kind of thing. The lining can be completely different. Um, so there's a lot of possibilities with this. And you can, uh, you have the option of pre-quilting. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Pre-quilting your yeah. fabric. Um, right. And then there's instructions um, on our website on pre-quilting your fabric, like doing a large expanse of fabric before you do embroidery. We've got a, a PDF document on that in our FAQs. Right. <clears throat> so Patricia, so, Carolyn, you know, I think she's been hanging out on my computer because she asked, does your website alert you if you are trying to buy the same collection twice? No, but, but uh, at the bottom of every page on our website, you'll see a button that says my purchase history. Oh. So you can go in there and um, check to see what you've bought before. We've got a smoke detector or something going off right now. <laughs> car for the course. Um, well, actually, no, there's no real fire. No, I think it's the carbon monoxide detector. Oh, the carbon monoxide. I've got people He's sanding. Breathing. Maybe you should got, get down on the floor. Well, no, I, <laughs> they're sanding over by it or something. And right. I think just the dust or whatever. Is Folks, what you don't know is Patricia's <laughs> house has been completely overhauled. She's well, doing a whole redesign. So what we see right around her is, you know. It's, a, it's an oasis. <laughs> yeah. But apparently behind her, behind the camera, it's a whole different story. So oh, yeah. she's got people working there, sanding and doing all kinds of stuff. So, all right. Did we cure we it? Okay. Pain. But really, if uh, there is an emergency, don't have, no, it's not. It's, 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 yeah. It's, it, he says we've unplugged it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. There is a pattern for, I actually have two patterns on my website for Christmas tree skirts. Um, <clears throat> so I've got two different sizes, two different patterns, but there's only one size per pattern. As I say that, so this is um, 
Our Mylar Christmas Santa, sorry, Mylar Santas is the collection name, but Santa's tree skirt is the name of the pattern. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. <clears throat> this one has the instructions for putting the piping oh. between the petals. Mm -hmm. We'll call it petals. Yeah, that makes or, sense. Or slices or wedges. And yeah. then also a multicolor back so you can flip it over. Mm -hmm. You know, inevitably someone steps on the Christmas tree skirt. You know, if you need right. to flip it over to cover that up before you can wash it, then right. it's pretty on both sides. Um, yeah. But in a an attempt to whip out another tree skirt for a sample for our booth using another collection, I made half of the tree skirt. But this could be a mantle scarf as well. Oh. This is the same pattern sure. I used, the same mm -hmm. PDF project, um, but did not have any piping cording. So I did flat piping on this one. So it's just um, a modification from the other one. So, sure. you know, if you don't have cording and want that look, then do flat mm -hmm. piping. So this is just half of it. And this again, uses our Mylar Santa and his elves. Uh, the same one that was on that uh, one of the stockings. So this, the pattern for this is Santa's tree skirt. Very nice. And then, the larger version is uh, uses our collection Cowboy Christmas, and I believe we call it uh, Cowboy Christmas Tree Skirt, and it's pretty big. <laughs> wow! But it's got great areas for embroidery. Yeah, that's for a Texas sized tree for sure. Beautiful. Just again, gorgeous. all the information. This has the flat piping on it, mm -hmm. um, the nice little detail mm -hmm. on each petal there mm -hmm. all right so that is does anybody have any questions or ideas they want to share for holiday well they're just you know ooing and awing over your samples although cindy ball did ask um when you say added crystals how are you adding them i use it's called a hot fix applicator um, for those of us old enough to remember if, uh, a wood burning tool, remember those? You plug them in the wall and it's this wand that has different tips on it. Well, they make those with different tips on it for crystals. And you've got to make sure you're using glass crystals because you are heating it up and crystals that already have adhesive on it. So I use the Swarovski crystals. Um, you'll see the backside is either gray or it's, um, I think they're coming out with I think the glue now is sort of a really pretty rose gold on the back. But um, so you get the you put the tip on for the size of crystal you're using. Uh, this wand heats up. You pick it up and then you're going to see the, the glue on the back of that crystal start to bubble. And then you can just pop it on your item. Um, I've I they last through wash after wash after wash. Um, yeah, they do. I, yeah, awesome. I absolutely love them. And they're fun to do. And they come in every color. Right. like the, the the thread behind you Eileen they come yeah. in so many different colors and um so I, I usually on my I still have my wood burner well you're going to need the tips yeah <laughs> you're going to need yeah. the tips they are specifically made uh for applying crystals and they call it a hot fix applicator I think candy is a, a brand with a sure. K there's, um, there's multiples out there's, there. There's, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Joyce Kirkpatrick wants, Kirkpatrick wants to know how many, uh, how well would the Mylar designs do on embroidered greeting cards? Well, they're not digitized for mm -hmm. greeting cards. But what I would do is because um, when I say that, when you if you stitch them on cardstock, there's going to be some areas that may perforate out of it. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is I would put a cutaway stabilizer in your hoop I would lay that cardstock on top uh, and embroider it. And um, and then any, you could either spray adhesive first to have that card on top or do it after the embroidery because you're gonna leave that cutaway. That's going to be the stability or the holding of that embroidery design on that card. And then you're gonna have to put in a an insert to cover the back of that embroidery in that greeting card. Um, so as they're not specifically created for greeting cards, there are ways that you can use them in greeting cards. A great. lot of times just your running stitch designs are great for that. Mm -hmm. um, but there are more and more designs coming out from different 
uh, digitizers that are made specifically for greeting cards. But if you wanted to try one out, that's what that that's how I would go about doing it. Great. Well, here's here's a Cindy Ball kind of clarified her question. She said, thank you, first off. And I was hoping there was no hand sewing. Oh, there's not going to be any hand sewing <laughs> on, on, on my broadcast. I can for sure tell you that. Um, and Sandy Stahl, do we have a, a thread set of all the variegated colors of Exquisite? We do not at this time. You're, if, if your local dealer carries the Exquisite medley thread, then you can get you know the whole assortment from them, but we don't have that on our website just yet. Okay, so let's move on to quick gifts. Okay, quick gifts. Um, and these don't necessarily have to be Christmas related or whatever. Maybe you've got someone, like I was saying in the beginning, that's got something something coming uh in the new year or maybe around the holidays Aww. we have our it's a boy it's a girl yeah. um uh, burp rags these are part of our collection called mylar all occasions again buying diapers um and doing the embroidery on them is a quick throw down gift yeah um and along that line i've also done some with my oh uh, look at that turtle he's so sea cute turtles so and cute. now this is not on the website, but I've got some just some fun ways. I covered the ends of the diaper with a just a fabric. So I boxed the bottom and the top. And then I covered the back of the embroidery with a piece of fabric straight through. And then did a to attach that fabric straight through. I did a fun um, serpentine stitch in thread that matches the the color. And I I. It was a long time ago, but I did find packages of the uh, diapers and colors meant to be burp rags and like Joann's um, Hobby mm -hmm. Lobby may have those. Because a lot of people ask, where did you get the colors? So that's that's where I got mine. And then another one is our um, oh. Bears 2. In so Bears cute. 2 with Mylar, you're getting both the boys and the girls. Mm -hmm. So there's 24 designs. These just did a binding on the bottom. Beautiful covered the back of the embroidery with oh. minky oh. <laughs> and then That's put so sweet. It, if you know the name ahead of time yeah oh that's really sweet yep so really really sweet that could have been part of personalized gifts as well yeah. um <clears throat> this is some more designs from our mylar chalkboard art just to show some more of the sayings but this is a a banner uh -huh. that you can hang in your sewing room or do a tote bag or a t-shirt for a, for us there's sayings on here for sewers quilters and embroiderers so you may have a friend that is a quilter and doesn't do embroidery there are some phrases um for those as well so that's mylar christmas mylar chalkboard art so same ch mylar chalkboard art um, again, the sewing friend, this is using Mylar floral monogram, oh. doing a banner for the quilt room. And, and I like to show the different ones because you can see how different they look just yeah. by using the different color threads. Absolutely. So we've got our, our green background as opposed yep. to a black or yep. a red in the. And so, you know, Patricia, you're just jumping off from that fabric, that border fabric, selecting your thread colors from that border. That is just beautiful. You know, someone great. else, someone else has done the work for you. Yeah. They put right. those colors together for you. Yeah. Just pull your threads yep. for every color you see. That's yeah. right. Easiest way to do it. And, you know, it'd be wonderful in your own sewing room, but imagine giving a friend who, who embroiders or sews that for their, oh, that's gorgeous. Lovely. Someone yeah, and cast. Bill Aiken says, I love everything. Me too, Bill. Me too. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Mm -hmm. um, someone had asked about a terry cloth towel. Oh, yeah. There you go. Woo woo. Super fun. So, beach towels, bathroom towels, you know, the yep. towels that nobody wants to wipe their hands on because they're too pretty, yeah. but they can because you can throw these in the wash, right? Yeah. Not going to be a problem. And then, um, got a, you could use this. I don't know. When I see it hanging somewhere, I think it's a, 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 like a doormat. But if someone wiped their feet on it, I'd probably wring their neck. Yeah. No, so. that's a wall decoration. <laughs> Definitely. That's a wall decoration. So, you know, just something something fun you can hang in the bathroom right. or you could, you know, mm -hmm. it, just a portion of this would be fun as a tote bag. 
yeah. put the little ocean spray on that. Let's see. Um, is that, oh, oh, you know, I left one thing out for the Christmas, and that is from our Milo Western Christmas. This is a fun little pillow. Oh, oh, that's gorgeous. And you know, this doesn't, um, it doesn't scream Western. So there's some yeah. of the things in this no. collection. Right. So that would be a fun one that um, yeah. could be generic for anyone that you wanted to do a fun thing with. And then again, because the, um, the bench pillows are so popular, I took three of those oh. and put it on, on one of those. Yes. Cowboys, cowbells ring. Are you listening? Beautiful. It's gorgeous. And then we have real quick, because these are real quick, um, part of our dogs three collection, which is huge. There's 94 designs in it. I kept going because we were home and just kept thinking of things. This is fun. I took some of the designs and put them on the pure shape and then they have magnets on them. So there's magnets on the back. You can make really do that with any of the designs. So it's part of dogs three. Mm -hmm. And then I did, I made a pin and I also have a hair clip using our mega 3d butterflies, but you can also Cute. see the crystals yeah. that I've added. Oh, stunning. And that's two sided as well. Didn't need to be, but it is. And then um, we did for our hearts and I only show this because you can do this with any of the designs. If you wanted to take the Milo Christmas ornaments, and this is where you would stitch two of them back to back and put ribbon in there, um, you could put candy or that kind of thing in it. So that's what we've done with these. Oh, And it just, so little pouches. So that could be a fun little uh, gift exchange, or you've got your women's group or your quilt guild group, and you wanted to make something a little bit different for everybody that's something that you you can whip out and it would be something for them you could put their uh depending on the shape you could do you, you could also like our um any of our easter collections you can take the eggs put two together and you can put candy in those as well so there's just there's just it's endless as you can see so i think I think I've gone through everything that I brought out here. I believe it or not, I did try to condense. Yes, <laughs> I don't think so. But that's well, okay because they, I did like, try. Gwen just said, "Wow, so many amazing designs and projects." And you know, it is a very large, you know, piece of work. All of these samples—they are just amazing, just beautiful. Well, I hope yeah. that I hope there was something, at least one thing that everybody was like, you know, I might try that or, yeah. you know, I've done, never done the Mylar before, but let me do one of those little quickie things. And, right. And, um, well, Joyce Hallmark says, I want it all. You know, I mean, people are just so inspired. Cindy Ball says you could back that flip flop project with a non-skid material and use that as like a bath mat. So clean feet. Right. That is a great idea. My husband's going, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like um, that too. I, I, I think I'm going to, uh, I'll use that as an idea of someone's, because someone, uh, they'll come in the booth and go, how'd you make that? How'd you make that floor mat up there? I'm like, yeah. Please don't step on it. <laughs> right. That's a great idea. And, and again, if it does get dirty, you throw it in the washing machine because it's going to be no big deal. So great idea. Great idea. Great idea. That's right. So, all right. Um, so, uh, the moment you've been waiting for, well, did you have quite. a special, you know, you've well, got, you've got something to talk about first. Oh, well, there we go. So yes, everything over at purely gates is 15% off. And that's a very generous, um, savings from purely gates. You know, you have to remember there are a, a, a business, small business here in Texas and they run by two people, Patricia Gates and her husband, Tom, who, who is, does a lot of the artwork, right, Patricia? Yes. Most of what you saw tonight or today is uh, drawn by my husband. The the botanical quilting designs three. My husband drew all of those. Oh, that's so. Wonderful. Yeah, and this is uh, Eileen. You're very special to us, as oh. are the uh, customers out there, because this is the only time we've ever done the fifteen percent off of everything. Wow. So I'm talking 
our tweezers, our threads, our stabilizers, our oh. pure shape, our CDs, our mylar, everything. 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 Wow. Very, very generous. Really. Patricia. And then um, it's awesome. good through Monday, November 15th. Great. So this Monday, long weekend. Yeah, midnight. Yeah. yeah. And a happy Veterans Day to all of our veterans that are watching or their family members. Thank, thank you for your service. Yes. And like Roseanne wants to support small businesses in Texas. Um, she's so proud of Texas. Well, um, you know, I'm so proud of all American businesses. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. And then Marianne is asking, when will the video be available for replay? replay? Well, as soon as we go off the air, so to speak, then you can immediately watch it. Yep, for sure. Yep. Wasn't it this fun? Is... Oh, you did a great job, Krista. <laughs> well, you're very kind. And I, I will say I love yeah. to talk. Um, yeah, but that's yeah, okay. that's OK. <laughs> well, um, next week, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. I think my, yep, there we go. So this is our uh, so our special here at Dime this week. These color play kits are so much fun. It's a really nice way to build your embroidery thread stash at a very reasonable price. They're only $20, 20, what's it say, 75 for five different spools. And remember, it's the one variegated spool with the matching components in solid thread. And they stitch out just beautifully. Great for quilting, great for satins and you know, candle wicking, you name it, you'll find a good reason to use uh, color play in your embroidery studio. So I'd like to thank you all for joining me today. And a great big thank you to Patricia, Patricia Gates and her husband, Tom, of Purely Gates. I hope you take advantage of that special offer, that discount that they're giving you from now till Monday, right? And thank you, Eileen. And thank you, everybody that tuned in, because I know, you know, you've got these blocks of time. So we yeah. do appreciate that. And maybe we'll hope to see you on the road and, and shout out that you saw us uh, with Eileen. And and she and I are talking about doing some other things together. And um, I don't know, have fun and uh, get busy because... <laughs> The holidays are tomorrow. <laughs> the holidays are tomorrow. But, you know, we have all these tools in our sewing room that can make, you know, beautiful gifts. And with your designs and our thread, we're in a good position. Very good. Thank okay. you again, Eileen. And thank you, everybody. You're welcome. So long, everyone. See you next week. Oh, Bye. with Joanne Banco. Oh, I have to forward that. I'm going to skip my small town. Well, I guess I... I'm signing we already off say goodbye. Go back to the small time charm. Yeah, let let's, me go back to that. the small town charms. I'm, I apologize because Candy Bray did a fantastic job on her small town charms. She did a double size with a roof pampered uh, pet store. And I'm just so impressed. She added her own fishbowl and a parrot in the window. She's got some pups on the sidewalk. And also a really fun sign up on the roof. Isn't that fabulous? Great job, Candy Bray. Marjorie Hirschberger, she did some fussy cutting of her fabric and put all these pooches in the foreground. Love that. And I like the uh, street lamp that you also put on the fabric. Very well done. And Deborah Morgan, she has, I guess, a Scotty dog in the foreground there. Super fun. Look at her awning fabric. Isn't that adorable? She's got those kitty cats. I guess she's a cat lover also. And her choice of fabric is beautiful, right? Colorful um, threads that she selected for the bird cages and uh, dog food, et cetera. Really very well done. Well, next week, my guest is Joanne Banco, who's coming back to talk about um, all things just jackets and we're going to have a but we also have a new product introduction next week and I don't even think Joanne Banco knows about it so we've been keeping it under wraps here at Dime and it, it, it you'll use it in conjunction with your snap hoop monster so join us next week at one o'clock on November 18th for a fun session with Joanne Banco and thank you again Patricia Gates and our friends at Purely Gates